The motion to impeach Embu Governor Martin Wambora was tabled at the Embu County Assembly on the 17th of January 2014. And this marked the beginning of a journey that saw Wambora frequent the corridors of justice in a bid to secure his position. The motion filed by Embu County Deputy Speaker Ibrahim Swale accused the governor of alleged abuse of office. And in an effort to block his impending impeachment, Wambora obtained an order from the Kerugoya High Court on the 23rd of January, halting a debate on the motion. However, this was never to be, as a vote cast on the 27th of January, 22 out of the 33 members of the Embu County Assembly supported the removal of the governor and his deputy from office on grounds of gross mismanagement. The Embu County Assembly Speaker Justice Kario Kimate subsequently communicated the County Assembly's ruling to the Senate Speaker Ekwe Eturo to initiate a discussion on the same at the Senate. In his defense, the embattled governor obtained an order on the 4th of February from Embu resident Judge Hedwig Ongundi, who referred the matter for hearing to the High Court in Kerugoya, barring the Senate from initiating impeachment proceedings against Wambora. The Senate, just like the County Assembly, ignored the High Court injunction and on the 5th of February approved a motion by the Senate Majority Leader Kithure Kindiki, paving way for the formation of an 11-member committee to probe the impeachment of the Governor Martin Wambora and his Deputy Dorothy Nditi. After investigations, the committee tabled its findings that recommended the ousting of Wambora but spared his deputy on the 14th of February. In a late-night debate and subsequent vote, the Senate approved Wambora's impeachment by the County Assembly. The Senate's ruling that was met by sharp criticism from Wambora's fellow governors, however, did not last long as four days later, and that's on the 19th of February, a three-judge bench constituted by Chief Justice Willie Mutunga sitting at the Kerugoya High Court suspended a gazette notice by the Senate impeaching Wambora pending a hearing of the application challenging the Senate's decision. But it was the proverbial final laugh for Wambora after the High Court reinstated him back to the office today. Winnie Kizia reporting for Channel 1 News.